Vintage White Cross, uh, 1987 when they came out with that album, if not mistaken. Redid it again, um, or not remastered, actually re-recorded nearly the entire album with a couple other songs on there. Um, I don't know what year that was they redid it, but um, still jamming. Um, you purists are like, man, it sounds like Christian Rat, whatever. This is what I listened to when my parents were <clears throat> looking. <laughs> Even this was of the devil. Even though it wasn't Christian. <laughs> anyway, way off subject here. Subject today is cooking, of course, as usual, grilling. It's the Monday post-Super Bowl. We had a good time here uh, last night. Did a pork butt roast, of course. Uh, there's a video, I believe, of that. Um, some other chow mixed in, beverages, again, mixed variety of those as well. Today, I took the day off for Super Bowl recovery. Didn't really need it, didn't really step that late. Watched a game that, for some people, was kind of boring, but uh, I do enjoy the defensive struggle. Or people could say, enjoyed watching non-offense. Whatever. It was football. And guess what? There's a huge drought coming up. Now, I hear there's another league coming in here. Maybe we'll comment on that later. There's a spring league of some sort of a bunch of broken or former where I don't I don't know maybe it's good football I, I don't know no opinion yet it's probably okay it's definitely better than soccer I'm sure so anyway stuff peppers tonight pretty simple hey check this out uh, trying to get this lighting fixed maybe this works let's see can we see it a little better yeah not too bad uh, same light just uh, off to the side here and a little 550 cord to hold it up because it wants to droop a little bit because it's so extended. So, but anyway, stuffed peppers. I know you can't see them too, too good. So, uh, I got the, you know what? <laughs> you cannot pick up tongs and not go before you, you don't need to, but it's like you got to verify they work. Oh, they're working. Let's use them. So anyway, uh, I got a thermometer here and there. They're almost to the well done, which for these thermometers, I believe, is around 165. Is that right? 160. These are actually venison. Um, ven I say venison. Oh. <laughs> these are venison. When you're drinking wine, it's venison. If you're drinking more light, it's deer meat, dang it. So anyway, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a bell pepper. This happens to be a yellow one. There's some reds here. No greens today. Uh, Kim just bought the, the two varieties. But uh, uh, with some deer meat in there. Deer meat seasoned with some Worcestershire shy, shy, sauce. I apologize. I can never pronounce Worcestershire. Uh, some minced up onion, some garlic. And uh, that's really essentially our seasoning. Kids will kill deer meat. And the thing is, is they, know it's, they know exactly what they're eating. So I'm really impressed with them on that. Um... Now, I'm pretty sure they're not going to eat these peppers. As a kid, I can remember my mama making stuffed peppers, and I actually enjoyed the flavor of stuffed peppers. Always did. Um, I loved it. It was like a little teeny mini meatloaf. Uh, mama put some ketchup on top. I thought I put some cheese on here. Still not sure about that yet. But, um, oh, man, that smells so good. Mom would make them, but I wouldn't eat the peppers. I didn't like them. But, you know, Mom was pretty forgiving, and uh, even Dad shows them grace and let us uh, just eat the meat portions. And, of course, it was like, you're eating the meat. There's kids in China that eat rice because they ain't got me, right? Yeah, I know y'all heard that too. So I'm not going to force me the peppers. That's fine. Uh, heck, I could cut those things up later on, even during the week as leftovers at work. But um, <laughs> I dare I, I said work again at the place of employment. Um, uh, but I, I've, I always enjoyed it, and I still do. So we just don't make this enough around here. And um, uh, I got a, a line on some deer meat from South Carolina. So I got a ton of it in the freezer here to use, and we'll be throwing out in recipes uh, for the next few months at least. Uh, or at least the next hurricane comes, we lose our freezer, right? Actually, we're not going to lose the freezer. we got three generators now. We're getting it done. Hey, got to protect the kegerator and the refrigerator, right? Okay. All right, we're pushing the five-minute mark of the video, so i got to bust out of here because I, I, I don't want to watch myself for five minutes. I'm pretty sure you don't want to watch me for five minutes either, all right? Hey, the week, the work week has started for most of y'all. Not for me. Mine starts tomorrow. It's going to be a rough four days, so hopefully these peppers will last me, all right? Y'all have a good night. Thanks for joining us on the Grilling Bunker YouTube channel. We appreciate it. Bye now.